Hello and welcome back. In today's tutorial, we're going to explore some of the key layers in Mimo Life that can transform your broadcasts from simple to spectacular. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how to use lower thirds, video switcher and audio only layers effectively. Let's dive in. Layers in Mimo Life are essential for organizing and managing different elements of your broadcast. They allow you to stack content such as text, images, video, and audio to create a cohesive and dynamic live video. Think of layers as the building blocks of your video. By stacking and arranging these layers, you create the final output that your audience sees, known as the program output. Inside Mimo Life's layer stack, you can use drag and drop to rearrange layers anytime. The program output, program out, or simply program, is essentially a composite of all active layers at any given moment. You can always check the program output in the upper right corner of the Mimo Life window. The area of the Mimo Life window where our layers are stacked is called Layer Stack and displays the hierarchy of the layers. Each layer plays a crucial role in shaping the final video feed, with topmost layers appearing in the foreground, such as the subscribe button in this example the lower layers forming the background. This layering process allows you to seamlessly overlay graphics, text, and other media elements. Use the Live button to activate a layer, making it visible in its position within the layer hierarchy. Depending on its position, a layer may cover or be covered by other layers. Refer to working with layer sets. Learn how to create complex scenes if you're already familiar with the concept of layers in Mimo Life. As the setup, add a placer layer as shown in the Learn the Basics Volume 1 video tutorial. Now we can add the lower thirds layer. This layer is perfect for adding text overlays to your broadcast, like names, titles, or additional information. To add a lower thirds layer, go to the Layer Stack panel, click on the plus icon, and select Lower Third from the list. You find several variants of the lower third layer. Once added, you can customize the text, font, color, and animation to suit your needs. This layer helps provide important context to your viewers, such as detailed information about a person's role or title. Let's explore the video switcher layer. The switcher is crucial for live broadcasts where you need to switch between multiple video sources seamlessly. Add two or more video sources to a Mimo Life document. This can be pre-recorded videos, camera feeds, screen captures, or any other type of video source. In this example, we use two pre-recorded videos. If you use a video for training purposes, navigate to the video source and set the mode to loop. Now, add the switcher layer to the layer stack. Make sure the switcher layer is on top in the layer stack. Switch the source count setting to four sources. You may recognize the change in the layout of the switcher. Scroll down the setting panel to content. Assign your video sources to the source one, source two, and so on. Scroll back up again to the control panel. Record shortcut keys on the keyboard for dissolve one, dissolve two, and so on. Now, activate the video switcher by clicking the Live button. The button turns red when it's in live state. You can control the output of the switcher layer with your assigned shortcuts on the keyboard. For more advanced users, search for Mimo Live Remote Control Surface to learn how to create a browser-based remote control and how to use it on any tablet. The switcher layer offers much more than just a simple video switcher. Let's explore some of its advanced features. First, Create a new layer variant by clicking the plus icon below the layer preview. You'll notice a change in the layer stack. Now next to the live button, there are two variants of this layer. These variants give you the flexibility to use different settings within the same layer. For example, in one variant, you can set the source count to four sources, while in the other variant, you can set it to nine sources. The next advanced feature is to assign a background for each source in the setting panel of the video switcher layer. Simply scroll down in the panel and assign the background. Navigate to the sources and click the FX button, choose background removal. The AI object recognition will add transparency to the video. If a face and body is detected, the person will be cut out as in our example. The switcher layer will display the transparent video on top of the individually assigned background. The next advanced feature is the layers below source of the video switcher. The last source is always set to this setting. In this example, we've added the layer made with Mimo Life below the switcher. Once the layer is set to live state, it gets rooted into the switcher layer and can be used as any video source. This is useful for larger layer stacks to switch complex compositions. 
If you use several monitors, you may want to view the video switcher on a dedicated video screen. Click the icon on the top right of the preview, open layer preview in extra window. You can switch sources with mouse clicks inside this window. These are the main features of the switcher layer in a short overview. Audio is just as important as visuals. The audio layer allows you to add background music, sound effects, or voiceovers. Most layers in Mimo Life do not transport audio. You can control and route audio within Mimo Life, but consider it an additional step that requires as much caution as the video setup. Let's start with a general concept. Layers that transport audio have an audio level controller next to the Life button. This makes it easy to see which layers in the layer stack transport audio. Let's begin by adding two audio only layers to the layer stack. Assign the source. This can be the audio from a standard webcam, a microphone, or a pre recorded video file. Do not forget to set the audio layer to live state. Below the program output window, the output audio level is displayed. Even if there is a signal and the audio gets streamed, it does not mean that your computer outputs the audio. This can be achieved by activating the audio monitor feature. Set the audio monitor to life so the speaker button turns red. The audio mix feature in Mimo Life allows complex routing for audio setups. In this example, we created an audio mix for each source to be able to isolate the audio signals. For more advanced audio setups, check out the Mimo Life documentation. We hope you get a basic understanding of handling Mimo Life's audio capabilities. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our other tutorials to continue learning about Mimo Life's powerful features. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated. Happy broadcasting!